Hey guys, Master Zeon here, coming at you to show you a new drawing program that's been updated recently for Windows and is phenomenal. And it's not Sketchbook Pro. This program is a joke. And, you know, for the longest, I've always wanted to use my paint on Windows. I've been following it, and it just hasn't came out yet. I mean, there's a build for it, but they're saying they're having issues with the tablet. What am I going to do without being able to draw? I mean, you know, my paint 1.1 has symmetry, all sorts of additional features, the ability to use shapes to trace, just the things that I always dreamed of using, you know, from Photoshop because my paint doesn't have transformation tools or warp. So that brings us to Krita. Now, I'll post a link in the description, but basically there's a new update for it. I am just now finding out about it and this program is phenomenal. The brushes that come built into it are diverse. You have your mirror options. You can even start off using a comic style template. So, you know, we'll just use this template, make a new file. But it's definitely a program we're checking into, and best of all, it's absolutely free, so no cracks or key gens or Pirate Bay. You can just download it and get to drawing. And so, without further ado, here's a quick demo. It's a little anticlimactic, but still, uh, it's just a little comic strip about uh, alien invasion and a superhero jumping off and off of the building. But without further ado, you know, that brings us to the conclusion. I just wanted to jump in and make a quick video showing you all this awesome program, Krita, and some of its new features. It also has tools that, you know, I didn't imagine I would find a drawing program that was open source like spiral drawing, you know, get in here and just let your imagination run free. And the best part is that it can run free for free. So there's no better reason to get out and get this program. I genuinely am impressed with it and wish I would have known about it sooner. I mean, there's more deep technical stuff to it as well, like its SVG abilities and vector drawing, but, you know, I definitely plan to use it pretty soon in a 
video that you know will allow me to use its abilities. So if you're still watching this video, don't, you know, go ahead and uh, turn it off and go do something else. But I'm just going to keep sketching here and let the video keep recording. But seriously, get the link in the description, download this program, and make sure to go inside of your preferences and turn on the OpenCL for the drawing if you have, you know, GPU or graphics cards. But be sure to read the release logs and check out all the new features. And, you know, spend a moment getting acquainted with it before you begin because well, it's a lot like Photoshop and allowing you to set your filters. In fact, uh, one of the cool things is you can set your filter as a filter layer. Layer facts. You know, I can't just be defeated in a video not being able to find a feature I mentioned, so of course I have to go and find it. And as you can see, you can turn these filters off and on, add more layers, and just keep sketching. And it's just great. I mean, you press Ctrls, Shift, F, and take this puppy in full screen mode and press tab to get rid of all the stuff and minimize this thing and you throw yourself a pie
<laughs> yeah, I'm just giving everybody black eyes today. <laughs> Hey, it's me, the bird father. <laughs> 